Liverpool are set to sign Federico Chiesa from Juventus and if you are a Liverpool fan who is a bit unsure about this one, not sure about Chiesa, then please keep watching because I think this is a stroke of genius from Liverpool and in this video we're going to break down why. He is a left winger by trade, so let's compare him to Liverpool's left winger in Luis Diaz. 26 years old in comparison to 27, not too much difference there. But if we take a look at the season heat maps, there's still the similarities that we would come to expect. Both occupying the left hand side, both having an ability to drift in field as well, and they are very, very similar, and you can see why. Arne Schlott might be willing to take a bit of a gamble on Chiesa. He's quick, he's pacey, he's got all of those attributes that Luis Diaz currently offers. But I'd argue he offers a little bit more of a goal threat. With the 72 minutes per game compared to 67, Luis Diaz ends up playing a little bit more. He's had more appearances. But Chiesa has more goals. See down there on the left hand side, nine goals in comparison to eight. Now, the league does need to come into consideration, but I think Chiesa is pretty lethal when it comes to making sure that he's able to get a shot on target or even try to finish decent chances. And that is seen here because Luis Diaz had an expected goals of 11.88 and he scored eight goals. Chiesa had an expected goals of 6.43 and scored nine. That's massively overperforming his expected goals. And in a side like Liverpool who create a number of chances, you can expect to see that tally grow even further. I want to take a look at a couple more things because Chiesa really does offer quite a big deal. Nine big chances missed in comparison to 13. Again, a little bit more lethal, a little bit more clinical. Two assists, but from an expected assist of 5.58. Luis Diaz, in comparison, had five assists, but from an expected assist of 4.75. So perhaps Chiesa's teammates aren't necessarily doing the job for him in converting those chances that he's creating. I think Chiesa offers so, so much, and there are similarities between him and Luis Diaz. But if anything... He might be a little bit more clinical. But one of the characteristics of these wingers is pace. You've got dynamism. You've got the ability to be very, very good on the ball, but also do that at a very high tempo. And for me, I think that's why Fabio Carvalho was looked to be a surplus to requirements. Chiesa offers so much more in that department. Yes, he has had his injuries, but I believe that he offers so, so much to this Liverpool side. If we take a look at some of his statistics, I've highlighted three here that I think are key, key components for Arne Schlott's Liverpool. So you've got shot creating actions. For a forward, this is very, very good. 4.96 shot creating actions per 90. Put them in the 99th percentile in Europe's top five leagues. You've got progressive passes. Now, when we're thinking about the transitional play that Arne Schlott wants to create, or even the possession-based play that he wants to create, you still require pro progressive passes through the lines. Chiesa might drop a little bit further to allow another one to take his position. But again, he's needing those progressive passes to progress the side forwards. 3.03 per 90, which puts him in the 86th percentile in Europe's top five leagues. Really impressive stuff. And then you've got arguably his best asset in his progressive carries. The ability for him to pick up the ball, take that space that's been afforded to him and drive this Liverpool side on. Again, 4.57 progressive carries per 90 that puts him in the 97th percentile in Europe's top five leagues. He's quality and would fit perfectly down this Liverpool left-hand side. And in fact, when looking at this, believe it or not, I did think of Liverpool. I think of them playing through the lines, making sure that they can take the space that's been afforded to them by their opponent that's pushed up a little bit too far. And then, once the ball gets turned over in his transition to really take that space, you've got the opposition back four scurrying back in um, frantic, frantic pace. And here on the left-hand side, we have Federico Chiesa, who's about to receive a pass through from his teammate but it's what he does later on that i think is so so impressive again what i mentioned previously taking that space the ability to drive with the ball at his feet progressive carries making sure that he's able to really hurt the opponent when the opportunity and time comes he's going to drive towards his opposition right back and he's got himself in a perfect perfect position because in this particular instance he can go left but he can also go right he's shimming himself to go right and in turn what that does 
is actually completely offset the right back because he wants to cover this side. He desperately wants to, but Chiesa is shuffling himself to go on the right. However, in this particular instance, what Chiesa does so swiftly, so quickly, is really, really impressive. Look at this movement right here, and I'm going to take it back in a second. Watch his right foot, because what he does in an instant is go from left to right to left again. And he puts his foot on the outside of the ball and then drives and darts towards the left-hand side. This is extremely impressive. Look at him. He's gone. He's out is finished and then it requires the cover from the opposition center back however with how quick Chiesa is he's got that pace he's got that ability with the ball look at now the distance between Chiesa and that defender who was previously marking him he's completely gone and that's because of that singular move and then you're wondering can he finish on his left foot his weak foot well yes of course he can he manages to fire it towards goal in a brilliant fashion through the legs of the defender and it smashes straight past the keeper it's a fantastic goal but it's been made by the quick fleet-footed nature of Federico Chiesa and this is just a sample of what I think he could offer this Liverpool left-hand side and although it's not the highlight statistic that I've mentioned, I just want to pick out these. Tackles, interceptions and blocks. For a forward, this is really, really good. And in this Arne Schlott side, where he's going to be expecting you to make sure that you double back, to make sure that you're working for the side, I think these metrics actually work really well as well. And I just think Chiesa has so much to offer this Liverpool side. And considering his injuries... I think a £10 million fee is just brilliant, brilliant business. He can operate down this left-hand side, but he can also operate down this right. And it's actually down the right-hand side that I think Liverpool could really utilise him. Now, when we think about Mo Salah, we know that he likes to play every single minute. But at the same time, he also needs a rest. Liverpool are going to be in four competitions this year. And I'm not necessarily sure that Mo Salah can play every single game. Notice how I said I'm not necessarily sure. So for some players, it's a given that they won't play every game. But Mo Salah a little bit different if he ever needs a rest i think federico chiesa is the player that he could bring in to be able to keep that dynamism keep that real tenacity keep that ability on and off the ball to be able to keep liverpool to be that little bit more balanced you've got pace down this side you've got pace with lewis diaz down this side and in turn you're not requiring Cody Hackbird to play right wing you're not requiring diogo jota to play right wing and you're giving Mo Salah a little bit of a rest. I think it makes a whole heap of sense. And Chiesa has the quality to make this all happen. And it's him out on the right that I wanted to show you this. Here is an instance where Chiesa is out on this right-hand side. And again, the duality of his positions, I think, is extremely important. It lends Liverpool a massive, massive bonus when it comes to covering the likes of Mo Salah, but also Luis Diaz. He has the ball out on this right-hand side, and he's going to play it through into the centre of the pitch to one of his teammates. Now, the context of this game is that Juventus are currently 1-0 down against Napoli. And I think his reaction in this particular scenario is fantastic. So he plays the pass, and I just want to show you this look at him he's just played the pass and now he's willing he's ready he's in the moment he's going to take the space that's been afforded by these napoli players and i just think this is so incredibly crucial the ability for him to just drive at the opponent is very liverpool if i can say that it's so exciting it's so dynamic he's going to receive the ball back from his teammate and again look at the space he's clever he's incisive he understands where he should be going and again like i've been previously mentioning it's very very liverpool playing passing moving taking the opportunities taking those spaces and then driving utilizing that moment he takes the ball and then he's going to look to enter the box but once he enters the box what is he looking for he's looking for a shot now Sometimes this might not come off and the expected goals for this is probably very, very low. But I think he has the quality, he has the belief within himself still. I think he's going to rifle it towards the bottom. Well, I know he rifles it towards the bottom left-hand corner, but I just think it's fantastic. And again, I've been saying this, very, very Liverpool. The dynamism that he has, the ability to strike a ball, and also the interplay with teammates, I think could offer so, so much to this Liverpool outset. He fires it into the bottom left-hand corner. 
from that right hand side just entering the box he is sensational and i think he could offer so so much and there you have it guys that is why i believe federico chiesa could be an absolute star for liverpool football club but of course let me know your thoughts in the comment section below i would love to hear from you thank you ever so much for watching i hope you enjoyed i hope you learned something new and i hope to see you in the next one but until then my friends take care